Today we have a very simple algebra on the board for us here. How do we solve this algebra? If you look at this carefully, as a good mathematician, you discover that the answer to this question here is just four. Why? Because these and these are the same. So if we with the exponent, we can write 16 as 2 to the power of 4. And so x will now be equal to 4. Simple. But here we have up to three root to this challenge. So how do we get all the three roots? That is the aim of this video. So let's go into today's solving. So we take our solution straightforward. So now look at this question now. Because if we strike this and strike this and equate this, we're going to have only four. So I want to move this to this side. So this is now going to give us a to the power of two or to the power of x, then minus our x to the power of 16, this is equal to zero. Okay, so I want to factor out this from the system. So we're going to have here x to the power of 16, bracket. If I use this to divide this, what will become of this? Because the bases are the same, so I'm going to subtract this exponent from this exponent. So this is going to give us s to the power of our two, to the power of x minus our 16, then minus, if I use this to divide this, it's going to come up with just one, those bracket equal to zero here. So from here, we can now equate this to zero, equate this to zero using the zero product rule. So we have here case one. So for our case one here, we're going to have our x to the power of 16 equal to zero. So we take the 16th root of both sides to give us here what? Zero. So this is going to give us x um, to the power of 16. We can multiply this by this, then this is equal to we also raise this to one all over 16. So therefore, this, this leaves the system, so we have our s is equal to zero. This is the first root to our x in this challenge. Okay, so how do we solve for the other two roots? So we we'll take our case two, look at our case two here, so case two here, let's take here case two, our case two, we have our x to the power of two or to the power of x, then minus 16 minus 1 equal to 0 here. Yeah. Okay, so we move this to this side of the equation. So we're going to have here yeah, x to the power of 2 and yeah, minus our 16 is equal to 1. So what we do next here, yeah, we just have to ln both side of the equation. So we have here yeah, ln, let's put our x here yeah, in bracket, always to bracket our 2 to the power of x minus 16 plus bracket. This is 16, please. Okay, then this is equal to ln of 1. Okay, so we all know that ln of 1 will give us 0. Okay, so that one doesn't have issue. And according to the law of logarithm, we move this backward here. Okay, so this is going to give us here our 2 to the power of x minus 16 plus bracket. Then ln of x, this is equal to, here we're going to give us 0. So we can equally put this in bracket. Again, we apply the zero product rule. So we're going to have case two i and case two i i. So let's take this um, uh, this very one first here. Okay, so we take our case two star. Okay, let's take this as case two star. So we're going to take our ln of x is equal to zero. So this will give us here e to the power of ln of x. This is equal to e not here. This, this leave the system. So we now have our x is equal to e to the power of zero give us one. So we have here one. Okay. So this is the second value of x, which is our x2. All right. So we got the first one, second one. Chad will get the third one. We take our is i i star star okay so let's continue our decide again is uh, is two star star all right so what is the question so we're going to have here two to the power of x minus 16 equal to zero right so move this to this side to give us two to the power of x equal to positive 16 16 can be written as two to the power of four right so we have here 2 to the power of x is equal to 2 to the power of 4. So this, this leaves the system, so we now have x is equal to 4. So this is the 
third rule, which is our x3. Okay, and our x3 is equal to our four. So you now discover that applying the principle which says that so long the bases are same, equate the exponent that will not work out. Okay? All right. So with this, you get the three roots that will satisfy this exponential challenge. And if you substitute each of these into this equation, it will satisfy this. Again, you may think or say that root 1, which is x1 here, let's give it here, our x1 here will not satisfy the equation or might be extraneous. No, it's not extraneous. Let's check it out because this, some persons may say it will be extraneous according to this. So let's do a check for only x1. So have here, check. Only uh, check for, uh, let's say, x1. We are doing for only x1. So whenever we see x, let's put 0 there. So this is going to give us here 0 to the power of 2 or to the power of 0, then equal to 0 to the power of 16. Okay? Good. So what is 2 to the power of 0? That will give us 1. So this will now give us 0 to the power of 1 equal to 0 to the power of 16. 0 to the power of 1 will give us 0. But 0 to the power of any number will give us 0, except 0 itself. 0 to the power of 0 will give us undefined, or we we'll call it indeterminate, right? So here, yeah, we're going to have this to be 0 equal to 0. So this one, x1 satisfy the equation, okay? Like some persons argue that x1 um, x1 here will be a strainer. No, x1 is not a strainer. But I would say, leave a comment in the comment section. Let me also get your viewpoint here. If you go ahead to substitute x2, 1, to satisfy the, and x3, 4, it also satisfy the equation. All right, so this is all I have for you for today. Very simple and brief, short. Okay? Nice question coming on your way next week. Thanks for being there all the time. Bye for now.